how's it guys welcome back to another episode i am out at genu valley my favorite bank fishing spot in joburg the dam is ultra grassy they are busy working on it so if you guys do decide to come out here and fish i know grass is very very daunting because you always get snagged up but grass holds fish so i'm gonna give it a go with a top water frog first uh, run it across the grass and see if I can't uh, get a couple of fish like that first and then I'll see what I'll swap over to if I don't catch. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Okay, let's see how this top water frog goes. So I'm throwing a black horny toad by zoom. This is my preferred buzz toad. It's a bit chilly. I'm going to do a loop of the dam with this frog. Okay. Let's see if I can put it back in there. First fish on the frog. Right on the roof of the mouth. There we go. She came back for it. It's a great little fish that. Check how she chowed that guys. Hey. So she hit it. Hit it again. And then I just casted it in there and then she I just paused it and then she actually hit it but she didn't hit it on the top on the surface but great little fish first fish of the day haven't even been here for very long uh, great it looks like a fish came out of some reeds so yeah let's put it back and let's try and catch another you know a barbless hook so it's a bit tough catching them um, or keeping them on your on your actual hook but yeah that's great stuff there she goes that's awesome great stuff um black horny toad as i said this is my preferred buzz toad um, there's other companies out there that make great uh, buzz toads but I've always had some sort of success. Then I got another. And I got another one. Right after each other. Which is great. Obviously, obviously early morning, come on. Barbless hooks, they just pop out. Another great little fish, actually. Looks like they're quite shallow. I just cut myself quite badly and I knocked my GoPro. There you have it, sorry guys, I actually knocked my GoPro. Another great little fish um, on that buzz toad I don't know how pressured this dam has been these last couple of days but water is very very high I 
awesome. I love it when you come to a place and uh, you have quite a bit of confidence in something because you know it's going to work and then it works. Spiderweb, yeah. Sorry, spiderweb. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I fell. That is fine. Keys, though. That's so funny. I had to fall right in that little corner at the back there. Typical. I like tripped and yeah. Uh, luckily, my phone didn't get wet. My keys did get wet. Uh, hopefully they dry, but um, I think the frog bite is off right now. The sun is up now, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, swap over to a Senko now. Um, I'm gonna be fishing a Texas rig, so let's see if that works. I'm gonna try that splattered grass. It's uh, like a purpley at the bottom and green at the top. So yeah, weightless. Let's see if that works. Okay. Uh, I'm throwing a clout now that uh, splattered grass that's what it's called um, it's a laminate it's purple at the top and green at the bottom where's the sun at? like I need to dry here <laughs> it's only 7 o'clock I've already caught three, uh, which is bloody awesome. I think anything weedless here will do well. Fish can't resist a sinker though. Like. These fish, on the other hand, resist the sinker. <clears throat> they really do not like that. Sinker no more. And again, I'm in the water. I should really 
build little bridges everywhere and even these sandbags or whatever they are are really hard to walk over Grass isn't such a bad thing, it's just gotta know how to fish it. And the thing is if you did if you're not fishing on a boat, you can't really get to the middle, can't really target grass lines that well. And that's generally where the fish are gonna be hanging is on the edge of grass lines. Also trying to target like isolated cover you know something that sticks out that's different to others but the problem is what looks different here you know everything is pretty much the same stem has changed a lot since they've done uh, their grass maintenance if you want to call it that was obviously very bad because there's quite a few of these um, mounds of grass here it's gonna be tough fishing today as it is always here I think the fishing pressure is just crazy There we go, as it is on a weightless Senko. <sighs> nice. Ah, that six cents clout is great. Love it. Nice, healthy, chunky bass. Well, how healthy is it really? Uh, how do I release this guy? I'm just going to dump him right here. I hope I don't slip. I have slipped here quite a few times. That is not where you must go. Okay. There we go. And that is how you catch a fish on a Senko on a stick bait, if you want to call it that. Sun blocked up. How's it man, how are you? Good, thanks for you. Good man. Uh, how's your day been so far? Uh, I've caught four so far, eh? Four oh, already? Yeah, yeah, but down in the bottom, damn. Okay. Top water frog, three, and oh. one on a weightless senko. Alright. And you? I've caught one on a, on a billy goat down there. Okay, cool. Watermelon rig. Uh, Texas rig with... Oh, uh, no, no, top water. Top water, yeah. okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, man, good luck, eh? You too, man. <laughs> I have done another loop with that weightless Senko. Um, I just caught one 
I'll leave the link down below if you guys do want to get that color. I'm not too sure if Tackle Cabin actually has stock, but I do know that they are getting in stock soon. Um, huge shout out to Tristan. Um, we just had a quick chat. He's a fan and uh, he watches all my all my YouTube uh, vid videos. He's very new to bass fishing and I'm so happy that I've impacted so many people or just Tristan in this in this case to actually go out and go fishing and actually go to Tackle Cabin and speak to Rob, speak to Kieran and go out and buy the things that I suggest you guys should be using. So yeah, huge shout out to him. Yeah, it's always awesome to, to meet my fans or um, people that support the channel. I'm gonna throw, um, I'm gonna tie on an underspin right now. Weather's changed, obviously, it's bird blue skies. But let me chuck that thing around, move it around a little bit. Let's see if that works. Day, tough day. I caught those four fish. Uh, three fish were caught on that black frog, that zoom horny toad. Uh, early morning though, really early morning. But um, then it took a while for me to catch another. But uh, I did catch on that weightless senko or weightless stick bait, that clout um, in a bluegrass. Is it bluegrass magic? Uh, I'll leave it linked down down below. I'm not too sure what it's called right now, but I was fishing at Weightless Texas and um, Yeah, casted it out there. Let it sit. Popped it every once in a while. Bang, she was on. And um, the fish weren't particularly big today But yeah, fish is a fish and um, I'm just happy that I caught today I need to get going now, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, I actually am playing golf later at, uh, I think it's quarter to one, and it's about an hour drive for me. 11, I need to go home, shower, get changed. It's about 10 minute drive to golf, but we like to be there an hour early. But um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, uh, leave comments down, down below, and I'll check you guys on the next episode.